Welcome back to Snipe City Cards. We are opening up uh, 2019-20 SP Authentic. It says 2020-21, but I assure you if you saw the last like four parts of our videos, only one box thus far has come with the 2021 Future Watch Auto. The, all, the rest of them have all been 1920. So uh, we're going to call this 1920 SP Authentic with uh, Lafreniere on the cover. It's just a mis misprinted box. It's a... Uh, in case you can't tell, it's a lot of sarcasm in jest here. This is box number seven of the case. Um, there's got to be something decent in here at some point in time because uh hasn't been going too great. We don't like to do this too often, but if you haven't already, uh, it's probably a good idea to subscribe to the channel. We will have a giveaway this month. The card is going to be this Connor McDavid Portrait Rookies. Unfortunately, it's no longer in this HGA 8 case if you didn't see our short from um this would have been a, the other week i guess um we wanted to see if we could crack it out of the case just by uh, twisting it a little bit we've seen some horror stories where people crack cases just by twisting them uh and we ended up the case exploded in our hand none of that got on video it would have been a fun video but uh we have a very creased no longer 70 dollar card portrait rookie of Connor mcdavid that we will be giving away in august so make sure you're subscribed for that now back to SPA. So at this point, I'm just really looking to see if I can get a future watch auto of the current year. That's, uh, I'm starting pretty low. Standards are very, very low. Just looking for a 2020, 2021 future watch auto. So this is an eight box inner case. And at best, unless any of these have two future watch autos in there, at best, we are going to be getting uh, only three current year future watch autos and a bunch of low end last year stuff. Don't really know what else to say other than that. Let's go through another one of these boxes. Also to note on these boxes, because they're all stacked per side, we've got a Pasternak retro to start. Like, it makes buying singles next to impossible. I know SBA is fairly similar with, with that at different years, but literally everything is in one stack always here. So if you're buying single packs, basically don't because someone can just open one stack and then list, list the rest of the packs. We've got a Zach Parise celebrated moments and a decoy in this one and a very high cut Braden Point. Like SP, well, SP Authentic used to be, they used to take pride in making sure the cards are cut very well too. A lot of these are, anyways, that's a very high cut card. Way off center for the base. Alrighty, we have a limited red, Philip Grubauer. Okay, uh, we have... Camera bump there. Another retro. This was Pekka Rene. So this looks to be uh, one of the uninteresting sides. This one feels like it's got a big decoy in it. And here we've got a celebrated moments for Tim Stutzla. We have true leaders John Klingberg. I'm interested to see, but uh, as, as it's shaping up, this is a, about a $3,000 case. I only bought three boxes with actual money. The rest I used reward points on. We got Kyle Palmieri, limited red. Um, and by the looks of it, unless we get something big in one of these last two boxes, we are probably only, we probably might even lose on the three boxes that we bought. Like we might not make our original thousand dollars back. Uh, middle stacks, the stack to be. This looks like a sign of the times. And it is Jonathan Huberto, sign of the times. So this is where all the fun's gonna be. Generally is the case with this stuff. <clears throat> uh, we have Shane Bowers, Future Watch Auto. This is our second of the case in box seven of this current year. Not the greatest name. There we go. At least we at least we got another future watch for this year. This is Slim Pickens. There you go, Shane Bowers. 
Future Watch Auto. You know what? I'm going to leave the rest of this middle stack just because that seems to be where all the fun is. I'm hoping to get something fancy in the ends. We got Dustin Brown Limited Red. Maybe we can get like a acetate Young Guns or something fancy in here. That's not just the one stack that has all the good stuff. Mirror Heiskanen, top performers. Okay. Uh, we have Ryan O'Reilly, retro. And another retro, Nico Heeshier. This one's got a big fat decoy in here. And it is a true leader is Anders Lee for the Islanders. Let's get to the final pack of the left stack and then we'll get the last few of the middle ones. Uh, another celebrated moments, Connor McDavid, first postseason hat trick. So I think we've already gotten that one before. Okay, so there are three packs left. Let's uh, see if we can get something more than uh, just the Shane Bowers and the Huberto action. This is probably a numbered one. The last time we got back to back of these uh, retros, we got a numbered 100. So we got Tomash Hurdle and we have Rasmus Dallin, numbered 16 of 100. So that is our second numbered retro one. The other one we got was Austin Matthews, I think, in our first or second box. But uh, still not, not great. Got a decoy in here and a Spectrum FX of Nico Heeshier. And the last pack of box number seven. Uh, we have a Future Watch Spectrum FX of Nick Robertson. So there you go, guys. That is box seven. Uh, Nick Robertson, Spectrum FX, Future Watch. Spectrum, non-Future Watch. He sure, obviously, is from 1718. Rasmus Dalin. Uh, gold, number to 100, numbered 16 of 100, so almost his jersey number. That first one was a two. Uh, we got our second current year future watch auto, Shane Bowers and Jonathan Huberto, sign of the times. Um, we have one left. That was box seven. Thanks for watching.